Hey everybody, it's Jason with All Star Welding back at you with another exciting video. Well today we're going to do a little simple modification to the um, uh, Vulcan Outlaw 195. Uh, something I've been meaning to do for a long time. Uh, but after enough poking and prodding from one of our uh, subscribers, I'm finally getting around to doing it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the 1430 twist lock receptacle that's on here and I'm going to replace it with the uh, NEMA 650 uh, welder plug. And I know, <coughs> I know everybody's going to say, well Jason, you know they make an adapter for that. Yeah, I've got one. Uh, you can pick these up on Amazon and they work just fine. Uh, but I wanted to plug in directly to this and um, um, if for some reason I need that twist lock, they have an adapter to, to reverse what I'm doing. Uh, and I didn't want to drive an hour to a mobile job just to find out that I left this back at the shop. So I want to replace that plug with what I need for, you know, to be in there. And uh, so I'm going to show you the process of doing it, what you're going to need, and um, let's get started. Okay, so to get this done, uh, it's not really that hard. Obviously, you need um, your uh, 650 plug. Um, it's only three wires. Uh, make sure you get this kind that's got this bracket around it because it's going to make it easier to bolt in. Uh, you may need a meter, uh, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and you may need a sharpie, uh, some tape, and that's to label your wires. And for marking where I'm going to have to cut my hole, I'm going to use this piece of sharpened uh, tungsten. And uh, uh, you're going to need a 5 16 socket to take the cover off the generator. And of course, you're going to need a beverage. And uh, of course, I chose uh, my coffee cup. Uh, and there is coffee in it. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do, we have to take this cover off. And uh, you've got uh, 5 16 uh, You got four screws on top and three down each side. And because the area that we need to get into is right here. Okay, with all your screws taken out, <clears throat> all we got to do is lift this off. Okay, so what we're trying to get to, we're trying to get to this green plug right here. Um, and if you notice, everything is kind of labeled. And uh, it's simply a matter of taking these off, labeling them, taking the plug off, putting the new one on, wiring it back together. But this is a really good time while you've got that cover off to inspect in here. Uh, make sure you don't have any uh, mouse nests or bird nests or wasp nests or anything like that. Any kind of debris. Just go ahead and take this moment to clean all that out. Okay, so <clears throat> if you bought your machine used or it's been a while and you don't have your uh, owner's manual handy, you can go to the Harbor Freight website, go to the, the uh, description for this machine, and uh, you can download uh, the manual there. And it does have a wiring diagram in it. And uh, I'm gonna put the wiring diagram here on the screen. So uh, there's another diagram that I'm gonna put on the screen now that is in case you wanna make your own adapter. Uh, it's really easy. Um, the, the two white ones, which is your neutrals, they're not used in the adapter. And uh, on the 650, they're not used either. And I'm gonna put that diagram on the screen now. So 
So you can see that the only ones that we're using are the ground, the X, and the Y. The W is not used. So on this plug, the yellow with the green stripe is your ground, and it's labeled right here, G for ground. One of the red wires goes here for X, and then the other red wire goes here, and it's labeled Y. So you have a G, an X, and a Y. And uh, looking at the schematic, the two white ones on the neutral, one of them, um, it also feeds the two uh, 120 plugs, but uh, it also is uh, going into the circuit for the welling current, and it also goes down here to this little black box. And this little black box is the idle speed controller. So when you take these off, you don't want to just have them dangled up, you know, and taped up and everything. You want to put them back together because they are just the taps off of each other. But you want to tape them together and uh, keep them handy. So right now, I'm going to take off these, these plugs. Now the one in the Y, is labeled 23 so I don't have to label that and the one going to the X is already labeled 25 and the ground is labeled 003 so I'm gonna go ahead and take these three wires off now that I know what they are So there's my ground, it's the yellow with the green stripe, the X is 25, X25, I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to come here to the Y, which is labeled 23, and I'm going to take that off. Okay, so the only ones that we have left are the two white ones, and for now, until I've got this project finished, I'm going to go ahead and just leave that on there. Okay, so as you can see, the two sizes of these are different. Um, they're quite a bit different. Um, so we're going to have to take the die grinder and make this hole right here. A little bit bigger to accept this now also keep in mind when you do this look at your plugs on your welding machines um, this bar right here might be in the way if I put it on this way with my ground at the bottom uh, so I've looked at my plugs and it's going to be a lot easier to plug in and have the cable out of the way if I put my ground plug uh, at the top. Now, also what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna use the screws that were holding this on. I'm gonna put those in and just kinda snug this up against um, the uh, back of this. And I'll show you why in, in, in just a second. Okay, now that we've got our 650 plug just kind of held in place with the screws, I'm going to take this sharpened tungsten and I'm going to use it to mark the outline of what I need to take out with the angle with the um, uh, die grinder. I'm just going to make little little marks all the way around this. So I've got that marked. I'm going to take these screws back out. Alright. So now we have a little circle. And so now I know what I need to take out with the die grinder. Okay, so before I start, I'm going to take this towel. And I'm going to try to cover everything that I don't want to get metal filings on. Because this isn't plastic. This is metal. 
and when you use a die grinder uh, <laughs> you know it's going to sit there and throw shavings all over the place and then I'll carefully remove this and then blow it all out with some compressed air just to make sure that I don't have any metal where it doesn't need to be. I can't, I can't even start to tell you what kind of problems that will cause. Okay, now that you've got that hole made, you want to make sure that you take some compressed air from your compressor and completely blow this out because you don't want any of these little metal filings getting on these circuit boards. That ought to do it. Okay, so I've got the new plug wired up. Um, remember to put the uh, yellow and green uh, into ground 25 on X 23 on Y and it fits right in well it almost fits in you see this this screw right here and this one right here that holds the plastic cover on the front and they're in the way so the new plug is scored to where you can take your Lyman's pliers and just bend that back and forth and cut and um, uh, break those ends off. So I'm going to do that right now. Well. done these before they usually go pretty easy I think I'm just gonna bend them out of the way I don't think that scores deep enough all right so I just got those bent out of the way and my plug goes right in all right, so now I can take these long screws that held the old plug in place and I can put them back in. Okay, now that we got our new plug in, we still have the issue with this. Um, you could just leave these where they are and just wrap this whole thing up. Um, as a matter of fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I was gonna zip tie them together and then tape them but to make sure that I don't ever lose this uh, plug, just in case I want to put it back to where it was, I'll make sure my screws are in tight. Because those, um, those two white wires, they still need to be connected to each other. So I'm just going to wrap them up like this. Make sure all my ends are covered. Make sure everything's nice and tight. There you go. If you, if you wanted to, you could take these two white ones, clip them, and splice them together. But uh, no real need in that. And I'm just going to let this live. Where is it going to live? It's going to live just right there. That's all we need. 
so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crank up the machine and uh, get my multimeter out and make sure we're getting our voltages. Okay, well, we're all done. Uh, that's what I got now. Uh, got the welding plug. I could have uh, taken a little bit more time and, uh, you know, made this a little better. Made this hole so that silver doesn't show up, but I might take it out and just, you know, paint that with a Sharpie so that it doesn't show. But, uh, um... I put the cover on already and then uh, or I tested it on the back of the uh, socket across the X and the Y and I was getting exactly 240 volts uh, and then I put the cover on and I was going to show you that I was getting 240 here but the, the uh, little uh, uh, the little spiky things on my leads for my um, uh, uh, multimeter uh, are not long enough to uh, go in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start it up and I'm going to plug in my um, uh, plasma cutter and show you that it works. Now remember that in order to access this plug for the 240, you do have to have the welding power flipped on uh, for the high RPMs. But I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, crank it up now and um, show you that it works. So I'll pull my little choke thing. Okay, so there we go. Got a little uh, uh, nice little Sunday afternoon project uh, converting the uh, 14, the uh, NEMA L1430 uh, R receptacle to the uh, NEMA 650 R receptacle. Anyway, got any questions? Let me know. Please send me a comment. Uh, if you got any questions? Please comment. You know I'm going to answer them because I would rather you be sure about this project before you do it. But thanks for watching and have a great weekend.